born in KwaZulu Natal, Lutando Mtembo, also known as Boo. Well, the Zulu uh, vegan became known to Mzanzi when he was a contestant in a reality show. He has uh, gone on to show that he is quite a talented individual with his exploits in music and acting. Well, he has a single out titled Repackage and joins us in studio to tell us more. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Oh, man. So good, good to have you here. Good to be here. Speak to us about where it all started for you, musically, creatively, yeah. where did it all start for you? It started in a simple place called my bedroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was writing and um, I love music. I, I was born in a, in a household that allowed me to be free with my creativity. So okay. shout out to my mom, shout out to my father for allowing us to just you know, expand ourselves. Mm. So that's where it started initially, the spark for entertainment. For yeah. Me. When I got asked as a kid, do you want to be a doctor? He's always saying, no, I want to be on TV. Yeah. So that that's where it started, uh -huh. realistically. And when did you get into studios to start recording to, this is the stuff I want the world to hear? Okay. Um, I love that question, mainly because it was a lot of trial and error. Mm. A lot of trial and error. Um, but I feel like I officially started like about four years ago, uh -huh. officially, because you can also end up doing things in your head and not doing it practically. I wasn't really going to studio as much as I should have been. I was more um, in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is, that you were in your head and then finally you said, okay, but I need to get out. Do you fear. know what I mean? Yeah. Fear of success yeah. and fear of failure. Uh -huh. I think more fear of success because you don't know that, that, that path. It's less traveled. Yeah. So you have to have guts to be able to do something that you don't know anyone around you doing. Yeah. So that it took a lot out of me to, to, to be brave yeah. and decide, okay, now I'm driving up to Johannesburg. I'm going to find a place to stay and I'm going to make it work. And so, somehow it's working. Yeah. What did you find when you got here? I mean, you're just chasing a dream. You don't know anybody. It what did you zoom. find when you it got to Joburg? <laughs> the air is different from Durban. Yeah. Um, dry. It was humbling. Mm. It was very humbling. Mm. And I had to look at myself in the mirror and decide if I'm going to stick it out or I'm going to go back. Because mm. there's always the comfort of home. I, I decided to burn all the boats and make it work forward. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Speak to us about, uh, we spoke about the packager. There's also the repackage. The repackage. Tell us a little bit about that. What's that about? So there's an, a mentor of mine, mm. Sizwa Alakain, mm. aka Reason, who, right, right. who happened to hear my song, um, Package, which is the packager, and uh, he liked it. And he hit me up and he said, well, I'd like to be on the song, yeah. you know, which was exciting for me. I was mm. super excited. This guy is known in the industry as a hip hop guy is transitioning to my piano mm. and I wants to be in my song. But Repackager came about when I saw the impact that Packager had on my life. And I wanted to share that spotlight mm. with other kids who are also trying the same thing, who don't have someone to give them that, who are unfortunate enough to meet a reason. So I was willing to just kind of be that for them. Yeah. And it's a beautiful song that speaks about basically packaging and repackaging yourself and your identity in mm -hmm. different scenarios. And why is that so important to you, given where you come from yeah. and maintaining uh, that identity because the industry changes so much and it, we've known it to change people in the past? Yeah. I believe, Wuti, um, in life, Ngavele, we are packaged automatically. Yeah. You are a mom here, you are a friend here, you you are a sister here, you won't wear the same caps uh -huh. everywhere. So me and I, I decided to, when I got to Johannesburg, to move from the alias TJ to be BU. Yeah. Which is, a, it's a, it comes from my surname, it derives from my surname, yeah. Ntembu, yeah. Bu, yeah. which is always a reminder and a mantra to me to be myself no matter what. Mm. And that's what stems true to me and what I'm manifesting in my life. Uh -huh. And ever since I've done that, the paths have just been opening up for me. Yeah. Yeah. What's been the most humbling thing about moving to Joburg and realizing what this industry is about? <sighs> okay. I'll, the fact that when I got to my first audition mm -hmm. and I didn't know what I was doing, yeah. <laughs> I realized that in the room, there were so many different variations of me. Mm -hmm. So they send out a brief okay. and they say, we're looking for this and this and this. He must be like this. Now, when you're coming into that room, you're looking at your competition. Everyone looks better than you yes or in your head because mm. you can't see yourself mm. there's this taller guy there's tall dark and handsome there's different versions of you but this can only be one you so that was difficult for me a hard pill for me to swallow but i never stopped yeah that's the difference i'm very consistent I, when i have a goal i will make it work and how did the acting come about i mean we've just touched a little bit and on the, the auditions but here you are you're in job work music yeah. is the one thing that pulled you here yeah. but then acting also makes a an appearance there, I mean, yeah. <laughs> excuse the pun, but you know what I mean? How does, how does acting come into the play? 
So it's a, it's a two ways. When I was in Durban, mm. um, I went to in my high school. We had scouts that came to the school, and okay. um, I did drama, studying drama. And they saw my acting, and they wanted to put me in the agency. That's when the the fire for acting started. Right. But when it actually connected was when I realized that you won't always get what you want without giving something. So mm. you have to use what you have to get what you want. Yeah. And I want to be a musician, but people are saying you can act. So I'm going to use what I have to get to where I want. Yeah. I'm still on that journey. Talk to us about um, this journey and what's made it so worth it. Um, it's worth waking up for every morning. You came to Joburg, you hustled. Yeah. Now it's almost taking off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my parents, you know, my mother, you know, I, I don't want to get emotional. Anything. Yeah. I know she's watching right now, but I just want to say like people that believe in you before you even know what they're believing in. Yeah. You know, when people hit me up and say things like, we saw you on a commercial, that was fuel for me. You know, I wasn't doing it for fame. I was doing it for a sense of self-actualization. And this is what I said I'm going to do, and I'm doing it. Yeah. I believe a man is only as valuable as his intentions, and his worth is in his words and actions. They have to go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about the two songs you're going to perform for us. Yes. Which is which? Are we going to get uh, the repackage? Or which one are you going Okay, to what get? I'm going to do, because the re repackage is a lot of artists. All right, I didn't bring right. all those artists yet. Yeah. But I did bring my little brother, so he'll join me on stage. Okay. But uh, right now, I want to start with zero time. Okay. Because this year, I've lost... I, I feel like South Africa has gone through a, a lot of repackaging mm, itself. Yeah. We've lost a lot of people in the industry. We've lost a pe lot of people in... Uh, in um, individually yeah. in our personal lives we've also lost a lot of people so I feel like zero time speaks to that for me the yeah. love that the moments that we could have missed with the, a certain love or or certain situations that could have prevented you where you held back from being who you could have been yeah, which yeah. Is zero time mm. so that's the song I wanted to start with and the last song will be the rep not the repackage it's gonna be you get me it's a song that made it onto adulting a show that I'm that I'm currently on. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, being with us this morning. Um, it's good to have you in studio. Uh, I want to call it be you, or should we say boo? Both mm -hmm. apply. No, which one? We must be stick you to what? Apply. <laughs> <laughs> call me be you. Yeah. From Tembu, right? Yes, from Got Tembu. Got it. Yeah. Uh, boo uh, Lutando um, Tembu has released uh, a new single called Repackage. Well, we just spoke to him about his song and of course his acting career.